Yo, what is going on and welcome back to another FIFA 18 video. We have got a squad builder today. It's the first one of this FIFA. Uh, do enjoy squad building a lot on FIFA. Did quite a few last year. So we'll kick it off with a pretty expensive team, mainly because of one player who I did fortunately manage to pack yesterday. Uh, there'll be a video down in the description if you um, if you didn't see it. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. We'll start off in goal. Now, I needed this guy for chemistry uh, it's Forster and you'll see in a minute why but there aren't many good English goalkeepers in this game views Joe Art he is literally like a wall with a load of holes in it he's awful he lets everything in he's completely terrible so I've used Forster um, six or seven five star week four which is pretty cool um, so yeah we've got him there now to the right centre back we move over to the La Liga and we have got Umtiti who last year wasn't very popular, wasn't used very much but he has been upgraded to 6 foot, I think he's 5'11 last year his work rate has been changed from high high to medium high and he has got incredible passing stats as well for a centre back so he's got 79 short pass, 73 long pass he's got great jumping for his height as well, great interceptions, great standing tackle he's not the strongest but in game he doesn't feel too weak and uh, he's got 74 long shots as well which isn't too bad so all, all around he's actually a very good centre back and he did cost me 8k which is a lot but you know if you want some decent players you've got to pay the price um, right back we've got Semido who used to play for Benfica I think and he this year has had a nice upgrade he's now got 76 defending, 71 physical, 80 dribbling, 92 pace so in game he has got some good standing tackle uh, good interceptions, great stamina, obviously amazing pace. His strength again is lacking a little, but I've not really noticed him to be a weakness so far. Now, as our left centre back, this is why we needed Forster in goal. We've got Michael Keane, who I was going to use smaller instead, but Michael Keane has really impressed me. A uh, 6 3, I'm not sure if he was 6 2 last year or not. A lot of players' heights have been upgraded. Uh, he's got medium high work rates, he's got great pace, defending, physical and he's got good passing as well. So you can see he's got 74 short pass, 88 strength which is incredible. Uh, he's got good standing tackle, good interceptions, good marking. I uh, found that passing on all your plays is very important this year. Like Passing out from the back, passing in general is very important on this game. So to have two centre backs that have got high 70s or mid to high 70s in the pass is really important. Um, at left back we've got another Premier League player we've got Baba Rahman who you know you could use Luke Shaw Rose whatever but I did pack him he's got good pace very good dribbling good defending good physical and again he's got alright passing um, he's got 71 strength he's got 73 short pass I've not found him to be a weakness at all so because he's packed I just used him so you know get over you want there um, in the midfield We've got a very, very strong midfield. We've got Paulinho, who was like the joke transfer of the summer, but on FIFA, very, very good. High, high work rates, 5'11", mid to high 70s, all over the board. He's got two assists three games for me, very nice. And in game, he's at 92 stamina, which is great. He's got great ball control, great short pass. He's just an all-round beast, really. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have used him, and I will say the same. I did pack him, I think he's worth about 6k. How much does Semino cost? Semino cost me 5k, so not the cheapest team, but it's definitely not the most expensive either. Now, back to the Premier League again. We have got Wan Yama, who again I did pack four games, one assist. He's six foot, which I thought he was a lot taller than that, but obviously not. 91 physical, which is very good. Um, so he's not got the most pace but I don't know it pace in the middle of the park doesn't seem too important uh, he's got great reactions he's got very very high standing tackle and interceptions and his stamina jumping aggression and strength is amazing so someone like him in this game is very important and the next centre mid we've got is Ander Herrera who is untradeable for me which is lucky uh, he's got an 84 upgrade this year very very nice stats, 4 star week 4, high high work rate again, same as Paulinho and his in game stats as well very nice, great stamina, great interceptions um, he's just all around very good, 86 short pass as well which is very important been downgraded from 4 star skill though to a 3 but doesn't really matter now up front 
we've got Willian, who I've played five games with, scored two goals with four assists. Did pack him, I think he's about 25k at the moment, but he's got very nice stats. His finishing's a little low, which I actually have noticed, so you, if you wanted to, you could get someone else there. But I do have him, and he gets a link to Paulinho, which is very helpful. He's got great free kick accuracy, he's got great ball control and dribbling. Just a very good player, really. And he's very, very quick. On the left wing, left forward, I mean, sorry. We have got Son, who I'm yet to play a game with. And I'm yet to convert his position as well to a left forward. But, 4-star skill, 5-star weak foot. 83 finishing, 86 long shots, 85 dribbling, 80 stamina, it's just the list goes on, he's just an amazing player. Cost me 22.5k, which is quite a lot, but he, I'm sure, is going to be a very good player. Now, last but not least, the best player I've packed this year, obviously, Hernandez. Wow, I was so happy when I got him. It's only 85, but I'm pretty sure he is still worth a lot of money. Um... Oh, maybe not. 300k. He was 900k yesterday. But yeah, 300k. I don't know if he's going to be worth it. I've not played a game of him yet again. But he's got blistering pace. He's got good finishing. Very good ball control. Um, he's got very good jumping as well. I think he's... How tall is he? He's 5 foot 9, but he jumps like a salmon. So did use him a lot last year. And he was very good. So I can't wait to use his team. Everyone would be on 9 or 10 chem if I converted Son. But yeah, that is the team. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.